you know something bad's going to happen in this area. You know it's just a matter of time before it happens. Ned Payne says police called him early Monday morning about the Portland Street shooting. Then he watched the video. It's like something you see in a movie. You can see a man in dark clothing approach a woman on the street. She repeatedly tells him to stay away. Yo, get the f away from me. Before he shoots her in the arm. Get the f away from me. She cries out as he walks away. Two feet to the right, and this bullet's going through one of these kids' bedroom window. The suspected shooter, 47-year-old Randy Aaron, was found at his home a few blocks away. He did not enter a plea in court today. He understands the complaint, what it alleges, and he understands... Court documents say Aaron and the alleged victim used to be in a relationship with a history of domestic violence. The victim has spent time at the shelter next door. Payne is the same landlord who shared video of crime and violence on his block back in April. In response, more officers were added to a dedicated police detail for the area. I have told law enforcement that I would like to see charges that are being brought to us um, on things like uh, possession. During the pandemic, some people weren't being arrested for things like low-level misdemeanors, but that's changing. What I have said is, if we don't charge people, then there's no incentive for change. District Attorney Jacqueline Sartoros believes it is helping. Unfortunately, um, there is always more work to be done. For Payne, police have taken action, but he says the root causes remain. What are you hoping leaders from the city or other groups might take away from this? I'd like them to ask one question. Why are there between 20 and 40 people mulling around outside at 3 a.m. every single night.